Hello, my lovely Capricorn, and welcome back. We are here for your general weekend energy reading. Please do keep in mind, this is just a general reading. So take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you have uh, other signs in your chart that you might wanna check out that resonate with you more, please do so. If you do like this, please do like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. Uh, as it helps my channel grow and it is free so why not we will go ahead and use this deck to get your general energy and then we will use another deck to go ahead and get your challenge card and then we're going to go ahead and use three oracle decks to try to give you a full kind of uh, idea of what your weekend may entail so starting out here we have the six of swords okay and that does tell me that you are moving away from a problem so it does look like you've potentially maybe had a rough week maybe you've had a rough few weeks month what have you um, ongoing but you are moving to safer safer places safer spots calmer waters happier places right now so that is very very positive okay good things ahead great to know um knight of pentacles so this is coming in letting me know that you are getting opportunities coming in for financial growth okay so these could be people who are coming in to offer you uh investment opportunities this could be um job opportunities coming in or this could simply be like a um, injection of cash so maybe a check maybe inheritance maybe um, you get your tax return. So something coming in that is like an injection of cash or an opportunity to make long-term more income. Um, but definitely good news on the uh, financial front. And of course, you know, if it's been finances that you've been worried about as well, again, it does look like you're selling to safer ground on that end. And that would certainly explain this <laughs> your knight of pentacles so you are moving to a much safer much smoother financial um part and piece of your of your world of your life right now um down here we have the king of swords so i do feel like this is this could be your energy going forward because now you are in a much better place than you've been for quite a while so you have this energy feeling like you can now take on a lot more things okay so now that you have more financial opportunities now that you have more financial abilities you can take on a lot more projects a lot more um things that you've been wanting to do things you've been wanting to accomplish different things like that um, but this could also be somebody who's coming into your life as well um, because you are utilizing those financial opportunities. Maybe you uh, do get a new job. Maybe you do go out and you are socializing more because you have the funds to do so. Maybe you are networking more and making more connections. Um, maybe you did have an injection of cash and so now you're out and about uh, able to go places and see things that you weren't before and you are able to meet this person in the process, this King of Swords energy. So um, we'll certainly get some clarifiers on this uh, with our Oracle deck, and hopefully that will help give us some enlightenment. But from all intents and purposes, I do feel like, uh, to be honest with you, that this King of Swords energy may very well be your own personal energy, that because this opportunity is going to be coming in, that is going to allow you to have more financial independence, financial strength, um, whether it be uh, because it's a an injection of cash or whether it be in a long term in a long term sense through investment or job opportunities that kind of thing I do feel like you are going to be able to be in a position to do so much more with that um, but again we will go ahead and take a look and see what what these other things have to say here first we're going to look at your um, challenge card so oops bear with me here. Sorry about that. We're having a little trouble shuffling. Um, but your challenge card here will hopefully shed some light on that. Let's take a quick look, see what we've got for your challenge card here. All right. So your challenge card is your five of wands. Okay. So that lets me know that you're having some strife with some people, relationships, things like that. Um, and again, I do feel like with this um, Knight of Pentacles coming in, that this is a jealousy situation. I feel like you may be getting a uh, job opportunity that is going to make coworkers jealous, friends and family jealous, um, or you may be getting that injection of cash and other people are um, you know, jealous of that situation or don't feel like it was fair that you got this and they didn't, or you have more than they got or whatever it may be. Um, 
So I do feel like that's what this is mostly. Primarily, I do feel like you are gonna have people around you who may not be as um, friendly or as kind as they typically are, or maybe usually should be, uh, because, you know, now you're in a better place and misery loves company right so okay maybe this this is where they're kind of like you know just not being their best self to you um you know but you've been through it you've had to come out of some pretty bad time to get to this point so you should not feel guilty or bad about whatever this great opportunity is that's coming in uh that's going to help you whatsoever in fact you if this is your energy you should flex this energy at all costs because realistically you've earned it and anybody who can't support you with that you don't need to really take that that as as an issue these are not the people that you want in your tribe anyway okay if they're causing chaos um because you aren't you know on their level anymore be, because you've been um promoted or got new opportunities or whatever and they can't share in your joy then they're not necessarily the people you want around you anyway. You don't necessarily want them in your tribe in the first place. Um, so let's see what kind of information we have here for our Six of Swords up here. This is our Psychic deck. Um, so we'll go ahead and check this and see if this gives us any sort of insight on that as well. Let us go forward with this here. Alrighty, so Six of Swords here. Movement choices and decisions. So obviously we're moving forward. We know that we're moving forward to a safer place. We're moving forward to uh, something that has been, um, you know, coming out of something that's been not so great for us. Again, it could be financial. It could have been a, you know, we were in financial struggling a little bit or we were in a bad relationship that was not great for us or whatever, but we've made movement choices and decisions, okay, that are helping us get to better, safer, happier ground, okay? And that is exactly what we needed to do, and you've done that, okay? As you can see, you're in the boat, you're headed to a nice, happy, safer place. That is what you needed to do. Um, so you are doing good things, you're doing positive things for yourself, okay? And that is exactly what you needed to do. Again, like I said, anybody who can't see what you've been through and what you're going to, that's on them. You can't worry about what other people think. You can only worry about how you react to it. So let's go ahead and get some clarifying uh, information on that card as well as the King Knight of Pentacles rather underneath there. This is the moon deck. So it will hopefully give us some information on that as well or advice if, as it were. And this one is realization. And again, I think that is exactly what we're saying here is you are going to be realizing opportunities coming in. You are going to make good movement forward choices and decisions about those opportunities. Again, good movement forward. Um, but most importantly is all of this chaos, all the people who aren't supportive of you, anybody who is not being kind to you about the choices that you're making or jealousy of you because you are moving forward in your life um, and they are misery loves company type of people and they're because you're not completely miserable anymore they're kind of like who do you think you are or they're not friendly to you or whatever um, this is where you start to realize who your real friends are and who the ones who aren't supportive are and who you need to stay away from because those who are your real friends those who are your good friends those who are your supportive friends they would be there cheering you on okay they'd be your biggest cheerleading section they wouldn't be the ones causing strife or trying to be like uh you know who do you think you are or putting you down or talking about you behind your back or any of those things they would be your cheerleaders. They would be the one saying, how do we help you go even further? How do we help you keep progressing? How do we help you move on even better? Um, those would be the ones that are your biggest supporters, okay? So how about this King of Swords energy? Um, you know, could this be your energy? Could this be someone else that you meet? Their energy? I feel like this may be your energy um, where you are, you know, you're realizing yourself who's good for you. You're making the good decisions. And now you're going to continue using that King of Swords strength to go forward and do the right thing and continue to grow on this opportunity that you're getting from that night of, um, Knight of Pentacles, but you know, we will see here. Let's see what this has to say. So we have, you are the joy seeker. Um, so again, the victories you can celebrate. 
it's saying. So again, here, I think this is you. You are this king of, of swords energy. I do believe that is you. I have from the beginning, I feel very deeply that that is your energy because you have come through something. You are a, you are a strong person. You are a fighter. You are the one who has made decisions and choices to move forward no matter what out of out of the shadows, out of the dark, out of the negative, out of the whatever it was that was bothering you, trouble. I don't care if it was a bad relationship, a bad job, a bad financial turn, whatever it was, you have made choices to move out of it. And you have utilized good uh, choices to take advantage of this Knight of Pentacles opportunities. And you've come out stronger on the other side. Um, and throughout it, you've learned about yourself and your friends, who you can trust and who you can't. So all of this has culminated to the fact that now you are a joy seeker. You are a person who looks for the good. Um, and you're going to continue to make those choices and decisions to keep building on the good. And not, not any longer are you going to be uh, attached to these kind of negative negative vibes, negative people, negative, um, you know, surroundings, these, this type of energy at all. Um, you are able to go forward in victory. Okay. Uh, this victory here, you have the King of Swords energy. Now you are going to go forward in victory and you're going to keep building on it. You have momentum now and you're going to keep building on this. Um, and especially with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I do feel like there's going to be abundance here. I feel like you're going to be able to have a much happier and a much more abundant life going forward um, now that you've made these decisions, now that you've seen people for what they are, now that you know who to deal with and who not to, now that you've taken the actual, um, you've taken the actual uh, first steps to make the movement to get moving forward, you're not going to look back. You've got your strength now and you know what's right and what's wrong. And, and you've made the realization of who to trust and who not to. So you're not gonna be fooled again. Uh, you're going to be making good decisions from here on out. You're going to be looking for the people who bring you joy, who bring you victory, who support you. And that is only going to help you be stronger throughout the rest of your time. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it is uh, does resonate with you. If it does, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If it does not, please do check out one of the other signs in your chart. Otherwise, um, I will see you back hopefully next week for your love bonus reading. Bye.